Level 8. The Flooded City. Level Classification. Difficulty 3 out of 5, Flooding, Aggressive Entities. Entity Count 4 out of 5, Large Amounts of Aggressive Entities. Chaos Gradient 0 out of 5, Not Applicable. Bassett Fraser Index 2 out of 5, Though the water is dangerous, Staying on buildings keeps you completely safe. Description. Level 8 is an underwater Soviet town from the 1960s. The buildings are pure concrete construction, being made in the brutalist style, and have no windows. The upper floors of the buildings trap air inside them, allowing habitation. The first floor of every building is completely flooded, the second floor is usually flooded to above knee depth, and the third and any higher floors are completely dry. Most of the buildings do not contain exits, forcing most wanderers to swim from building to building searching for one that does. The water outside is salt water, being the bottom of an ocean, and is populated with various fish and other deep sea life. Hydrothermal vents provide light and warmth in the depths but should be avoided due to the irritating chemicals and high heat they release. The ocean is apparently infinitely deep, having no surface, but strangely averages a single atmosphere of pressure despite the infinite depth. Above 30 feet, 10 meters, from the ocean floor, the pressure stops decreasing and remains constant, nullifying the effects of buoyancy and making swimming above this point impossible. Sometimes whale song can be heard on level 7 despite the level being completely unsurvivable for large aquatic mammals. Level 8 is also inhabited by a dangerous hype species. The skull lay dormant with only their jaws sticking above the surface until unsuspecting prey swims above them, at which point they will swim up and encircle the prey, completely stripping it of its flesh in seconds. It is highly recommended that patches of seafloor covered with odd, toothy protrusions be avoided at all costs. The skull are specialized into three types, one with a spade-like lower jaw that strips flesh from the bone, another with a more traditional mouth that tears off chunks of flesh, and a third with a mouthpiece reminiscent of the extinct sedative shark which specializes in grinding flesh into bits. Once the flesh is ground into a paste, the skull will take the flesh underground. It is unknown why they do this, although some speculated that the organisms are taking the food back to their queen, which remains underground communities. Assorted Camps Camps are set up around this level in buildings. The camps can be seen in every building and are typically friendly. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 8 can be entered by going through cooling towers and pipes of level 7. Any of this level's sub-levels are also entrances. Exits The only exits from level 8 are holes in the buildings, going through these holes leads to level 9. Some of these holes are partially below the waterline, allowing a steady flow of water to pour into level 9. Other exits include level 8 sublevels, 